Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mags and today I'm going to be doing a one year review of my Gucci Gigi Marmont um, handbag. I've had this bag for about a year now, so I thought it would be a really good opportunity to do a one year review and just give you some thoughts on um, if I think it is worth it and if it is a classic or a trendy bag. So if you'd like to hear more about the Gucci Marmot handbag, let's get into it. This handbag features a really lovely quilted pattern um, throughout and then on the back it even has this little cute heart shape as well. The hardware is like a gold brass and the strap can be adjusted so that it is like a little shoulder bag or crossbody bag as well. It features the double G logo on the front and then it is lined with a pink suede lining and then a little zip pocket in there as well. In terms of what I can fit in it, so this is kind of like my go-to bag nowadays because it's just so easy to throw on when you're going out the door. I think maybe it's because over time you just sort of like obviously when you first get it you're like oh my god I can't scratch it I've got to be really careful and it's not that I don't take care of my stuff forever um, it's just that the more you wear it the more used to it you get and the more comfortable you get with it so I really love this bag and I didn't honestly think that I would love it as much as I do um, but as I said before this is sort of my everyday go-to kind of bag um, and in terms of what you can fit in it so I've got a little um, wallet and I should say this is a really great sized bag um, it doesn't look huge but it actually fits so much stuff um, I've got my little mask um, I've, I like to take a little um, eco shopping bag with me in case I do um, some grocery shopping while I'm out I don't like to um, get plastic bags anymore and then little lip balm. So I don't actually carry too much stuff. Oh, and my, I've got my AirPods. And I'll just go grab my phone as well. So as you can see, it just, the way that the bag is shaped, so it's quite long and thin. It just makes it quite easy to fit a lot of stuff in there, but also it's very easy to grab stuff out of it um, and see exactly where everything is. And personally, I don't really use it like this very much because I have very like slanty shoulders, so I find it kind of like falls off quite easily. Um, but what I do like, especially when I'm shopping, is to either have it like on one shoulder like this or like this. Um, crossbody and what I like about it is that with this class it's quite easy to open it one-handed and to grab what you need out of it very easily whereas um, when I compare it to my newest handbag which is the Louis Vuitton um, Alma BB size um, which I did a review of uh, recently and I can link that I had planned to buy the Alma for many years. I loved it for so long. I saved up for it forever. And then to be honest, it's just not that convenient. And I hate to admit it because, you know, I love that bag um, and obviously I'm gonna keep it, but the Alma bag has the zips at the top, which means that you have to use two hands to open it. Um, and it's just not very convenient um, and I've traveled with both so I went to Melbourne in February with this bag and it was just so convenient um, to go shopping and go walking with it whereas the Louis Vuitton Alma if you're carrying like a drink or if you're carrying like a shopping bag or something it's very inconvenient to have to like open and close the zip at the top so honestly I just didn't expect to like this bag as much as I did or as much as I do, I should say. Um, but it just makes it very convenient to be able to quickly grab something like your phone or your wallet out and you see how you can do it with like one hand. 
um, as opposed to having to like zip, like unzip and zip something. In terms of wear and tear over the past year, I think it's held up very well. Um, there are a few scratches here and there and then like on the little clasp bit as well as on the brass. Um, and the reason for that is actually because when I was in Melbourne, just walking along the street and I'm so clumsy, I literally just like face planted for no reason, just like tripped over my feet. Um, the bag kind of bore the brunt of it. So thank you bag. But at the same time, my first thought when, as I was getting up was like, no, not the bag, like anything but the bag. Um, but I think it's, um, it's held up really well. So is it worth it? I think yes and no. Um, yes, in the sense that I think it's a really great bag. I think it's a really great size. It's the bag that I reach for when I just need a regular shopping, you know, runabout bag but no in a sense that is it like a classic Louis Vuitton or classic Chanel bag probably not and this style of bag was released back in 2016 and I think Gucci as a brand had a massive renaissance and I think um I mean correct me if I'm wrong but I think like under the creative direction of Alessandro Michele it has had a lot more street cred than it previously had like so many celebrities wear it, um, it's very trendy at the moment and I think like the GG logo like on the belt buckle and on bags and shoes and everything like that is really having a moment and it probably has been having a moment for the past five years. Will that last? I think it will as long as um, Alessandro, as long as Alessandro Michele is at Gucci as a creative director, but will that last forever? I don't think that it will like this trend the style of Gucci probably has another five to ten years and then of course everything kind of moves on and you know refreshes itself so in that regard I don't feel like it's necessarily like a very classic style bag that will be you know appreciated forever um, but that being said you know maybe in 10 years time or 20 years time if I was to keep this um, the nostalgia factor will kick in. I mean, we have this, you know, this great love of all things old becoming new again. So I would keep it just for that um, fact alone that, you know, it maybe it won't be cool in five to 10 years, but maybe in 20 years time, um, it will be cool again. And it really exceeded my expectations in terms of a handbag. And it's just really versatile. As I said before, it's so easy to change between um, the short handle and the long handle. I think the size is really convenient. I think the color that I chose is really classic as well. So I'm just gonna enjoy this bag um, for now and I will definitely keep it, like I won't sell it. And, um, I think Gucci puts up their prices once or twice a year, so it's already gone up in price. Um, in terms of if I were to buy it again, um, yes, because I think like in terms of the usability, it's great. Um, and I think in terms of like the GG, is this everlasting? Yes. For the next like five to ten years um but I, I just think you don't necessarily have to follow trends if you love this bag like i love this bag so I'll, I'll keep using it like even if it's kind of um past its you know uh, even if it's past its like peak popularity i think it's just a really beautiful bag so if you're thinking about getting this bag i definitely still would i think it's still got a few good years in terms of being you know a popular bag um and yeah i really love it so if you found this review useful at all please give it a massive thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe um, i have done a few handbag reviews and i also do productivity vlogs and all that good stuff so thank you and i'll see you next time